What's up, Barstow? Hope you're all having a great Wednesday. I'm Sanjeev. And I'm Jack. It was nice having that long Thanksgiving break. Did you do anything fun, Sanjeev? Yeah, I did. I actually went to Dallas to celebrate my cousin's 16th birthday. It was so much fun. Well, we have some exciting news for today's show, so let's not waste any time. Roll that intro. So Jack, did you manage to catch the basketball games Monday night? No, I wasn't able to, but I heard we did great. Yeah, we sure did. The girls came away with a 42-35 win, and the boys followed that up with a 59-37 win. Boys basketball also has their next game on Friday at Raytown South High School. JV plays at 5.30 and Varsity Falls at 7. Hey Sanjeev, have you ever taken ceramics? No, I have not, but Liam actually made a piece about ceramics. Let's take a look. I'm Lily Lackey. This is my 14th year here at Barstow and I teach middle school and upper school ceramics and 3D art and uh, art fundamentals as well. In upper school ceramics, I really like it because it's a leveled class where we work on ceramics one, two, and honors all within the same class. And so in ceramics one, we do, we start it with a lot of hand building projects, work on sculpting animals that we change into whistles, and then do have like an introduction into throwing on the pottery wheel. So we've done that so far in ceramics one. And ceramics two, we've done a lot of focusing on um, throwing on the pottery wheel and really mastering those skills and throwing larger bowls, throwing vases, um, and really learning how to throw on the pottery wheel individually. So without my help and really learning those skills to fine tune what they're working on. So in ceramics too, we're working on shoe replicas where they really have to see the fine details of the shoes and have the shoe sitting exactly in front of them to see those little details to try and make it look as realistic as possible to create the sculpture um, rather than what they think they see, but actually how the shoe is presented. And so it's a lot more challenging than what students think. You know, I really encourage everybody to try ceramics, at least ceramics one. Um, a big thing that I hear from seniors a lot of times when they take ceramics one um, their last year is that they wish they would have taken it sooner. I find a lot of times when uh, people take art fundamentals their freshman year, it might be their last art class that they take, not just at Barstow, but also for the rest of their life. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize that we're around in this building with there's so many opportunities to be able to take other art classes and um, you don't really get that again in your life and so I really highly encourage people to take at least one more art class especially in their first or second year here at Barstow just so that it opens up your ability to potentially take more art classes if you're interested in it because you never know until you try and I also find that the other art classes after Art Fundamentals are very different stage because we do have those leveled classes where you see Ceramics 1, 2, and Honors all within the same class and I find that it's very motivating to see what those advanced students are doing um, within those courses and so just the vibe and everything in those other art classes is very different from Art Fundamentals so I really encourage people to take more art classes. I love watching a piece of art take shape. Yeah, me too. I also love other types of art, like plays. Mr. Kohler sent out an email yesterday with a Google form to sign up for the Upper School Play Clue on Stage High School Edition. Auditions will be on December 4th and 7th, so if you are interested in participating, make sure to fill out that form by Monday. Also, the Lower School Winter Concert will be taking place in the auditorium tomorrow at 9 a.m., 6 p.m., and 7 p.m. Reminder that there will also be a teaser today during Afternoon Flex. Additionally, make sure your calendars are open next Wednesday night to come out to see the middle school and upper school winter concert. I heard the strings orchestra will be playing along with many singers and talented musicians. I'm excited. I'm, I remember doing concerts as a kid, and while I did enjoy singing, I always struggled so much to make it perfect. You know, that actually reminds me, help me to piece about her journey as an artist. Let's go check it out. Our society strives for perfection, being the perfect student, having a perfect body, a perfect personality. But why do we want to be perfect? Is perfection really attainable? And is anything actually perfect? Hi, my name is Helton, and this is the story of my imperfect creative journey through art and film. I was always drawn to art when I was younger, and when I finally got a hold of a camera, I began making short skits and silly movies with my friends. As I grew and matured, my art pieces did as well. 
Although I was initially fearful of making mistakes in my live video segments and my online and in-person interviews, I discovered that the errors were learning experiences and nothing to fear. I've realized with my artwork and videos that perfection is not necessarily the goal. It limits us and we don't take risks and get better. My creative process and cumulative experiences, even with mistakes, have allowed me some of my largest successes, like getting first place at a Spanish film contest for a video I filmed, directed, and edited. Everything I produce has its flaws. No amount of erasing or editing can change that. Yet every piece that I create is unique. The imperfection of art captivates people to continue making it. Imperfection makes art special, and it makes it beautiful. No two leaves of a tree are the same. No two petals of a flower share the same shape, size, symmetry, or color. But flowers are still considered some of the most beautiful things in the world. Why is it that we humans hold ourselves to this high standard when we and the rest of nature are hardwired to be different and flawed? Hi, my name is Helton. I'm imperfect, and that is enough. That was really insight insightful. Thank you, Helton. Before we go, we have some more announcements to make. For all TAs from Summer at Barstow 2023, Ms. Holly Closer sent out an email regarding if you will be able to be a TA for Summer at Barstow 2024. Please make sure to fill out that Google form included in the email. In other news, the BPA club had a tournament and the results are in. Rish, Aryan, and Shion placed second and Issa and Julia placed third in global marketing. Great job, y'all. This upcoming weekend, Debate will be competing in the TOC Digital Tournament. Make sure to wish the Debate team good luck. Finally, a friendly reminder that finals are coming up. Make sure to talk with your teachers if you have multiple finals in one subject or require accommodations. That way you can get a good schedule. Well, that's all we have for you today, Barstow. I'm Sanjeev. And I'm Jack. Have a great day, Barstow.